Hey guys, this is Richard with Atomic Fabrication. Um, I just wanted to talk about my motor mounts uh, for a minute. Uh, so I make solid and polyurethane motor mounts for 99 to um, 14 GM trucks. So this will fit basically everything made by GM in that time. Silverado, Sierras, Tahoes, Yukons, Escalades, um, Denali's, all the trucks. Um, <clears throat> I don't have a video showing them or talking about them. I've been making these for about uh, going on six months now. Um, so I have four versions total. This video just has my, my solid ones, uh, so you can take a look at them. Um, this particular one is for the GMT 800s, which is the 99 to 06 body style. Um, I mean, I'm just kind of moving around so you can see it. Uh, fully welded just about everywhere you can is really overkill to be honest um, They're all dowled so they fit together. They're not just it's not just the weld holding it um, That's why I have this piece sitting here. You can see How they fit together So these little slots fit in the in the sides right here and together like a giant jigsaw puzzle um, this is 3 16 inch uh, laser cut steel, um, very strong. And so how I put these things together is with my uh, precision hammer right here. And I don't have to use jigs or anything like that because I've designed everything with a very close tolerance. Um, so you can kind of see that here. So they all fit together very nicely and are very strong. Um, so this is my 99 to 06 design. Um, I can either leave them raw like this, which I use a, a combination of wire wheels to clean them up as best I can. Uh, this is best if you want to paint them or if you want to powder coat them um, or do whatever you want with them. Or I have an option where I can throw some paint on it if you don't want to do that. Um, I'm certainly capable of doing that for you. <clears throat> Motor mounts are more of an issue on the on the 07 to 14 LS truck since they changed body styles. Um, that's what this one fits. So same deal as the 99 to 06 one. Um, it's a different shape entirely, different size. Um, same basic concept. Uh, they're all 3 16 inch thick, uh, welded steel, laser cut, um, fit together very nicely uh, welded inside and out like I said probably overkill uh, the reason for these marks right here is I grind them flat so they sit flush against the frame and so I actually weld the bottom then um, grind it flat so it so it sits nicely uh, it does take longer doing it that way but uh, basically starts out with a little lip right here and I grind that away so it's flat. The reason I leave that in there is because I can make sure I get it square and in the right position every time. So these um, are guaranteed to never break. <laughs> if you manage to break one of these, I will buy you lunch because you're doing something crazy and you're probably having a bad day. Um, but like I said, 3 16 inch steel, very strong. So the stock motor mounts are fluid filled and um, they do have issues being weak and I know guys have replaced some, you know, every 100,000 miles or so um, or even less than that if you have a performance type application. Um, I have guys running my mounts that are making 1,000 plus and no issues, which I wouldn't expect any being as overbuilt as these are. Um, these are the last motor mounts you will ever need to buy for that truck um let's see what else uh if you're worried about vibration um it's really not as big an issue as you might think um if your engine's running well and you don't have you know any sort of balance issues or misfire issues then you're going to see minimal 
increase in vibration. Um, the only time that's, that seem seemingly uh, consistent is if you have a cold, cold start at idle, which just about any engine is going to ru run rough in those conditions. Um, but if you have a well-running engine, um, you should not really be able to tell the difference except maybe, maybe at idle. Um, I do make a poly mount, um, which I don't have any ready right now. Um, but those are a little bit better with vibration um, and just as strong. Uh, but these are a little bit cheaper since they're easier to manufacture. Um, and so it's really not an issue. Now, if with that said, if you do have some sort of misfire issue or imbalance, um, then you are going to be able to tell more easily. Um, that, that's just the way it is. Because these are not near as forgiving as the stock mounts, but they will also never break. So, um, I have these available on my site, um, which is kind of long here, or you can just go to atomicfp.com. I uh, bought that domain because it's a whole lot shorter and easier. Um, I try to keep some in stock at all times, if or if I don't have them pre-made, then I definitely have the material ready. Um, and I can have usually some out in one to two days. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Uh, feel free to look me up on Facebook at Atomic Fabrication and Performance. Uh, or go to my website, which you saw here. Um, or send me a message on YouTube or Facebook or whatever. Um, Alright, well I appreciate it. Have a good one.